Hello everyone, I'm Sai Shravan and I'm pursuing my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Gokaraju Rangaraju Institute of Engineering and Technology, Hyderabad. My friends and I made an earlier video on our industry-oriented mini project that is on cable mechanism to automate stage curtains. Today, we shall be discussing the design and fabrication behind the cable mechanism for automating stage curtains. A little insight over the previous video we made was that stage curtains are nothing but the rope and pulley mechanism, that is cable mechanism in short. The ropes and pulleys are attached one with the other in relative motion with each other which makes it a cable mechanism. So the working principle is that as one pulley moves up, the curtains open and the other pulley moves down, the curtain closes. And that happens as the ropes and pulleys are attached and they work in relative motion with each other. So, and we had also discussed how different cable mechanisms have been applied and are being used in various other places for various other op for various other things and we also uh, discussed on how other than stage curtains various other curtains as simple as the curtains that we are using at our homes our workspaces and all the other spaces are vertically or horizontally open and how we got a solution to automate it before moving forward why are we using these components that I shall be mentioning in the next video rather than the most commonly used component that are sensors. Sensors and other electrical items which are being used today is because they are much more easier. These are small objects but they require heavy manufacturing and various materials are used in to make these sensors and the various circuit boards and other components just to make them as small as possible and program it in a way to make these work automatically. But we are using the trivial and the most aesthetic materials and one of the finest that we have researched upon in order to make this not as biodegradable as possible but to keep the environment friendly. So moving forward, the various components that we have been, that we have shortlisted and researched upon are wooden blocks, that is to hold the various pulleys, the rope for threading the track, the nuts and bolts as usual. Every mechanical engineer cannot do his or her work without using nuts and bolts. Pulleys as our entire working principle works on ropes and pulleys so as mentioned rope and pulleys a DC motor in order to automate it a switch to control the opening and closing of the curtains and aluminium clamps in order to hold the curtains so these are the basic components that we are using as we have decided to make this project work not just for stage curtains but for every other curtain which are existing in the offices or schools or other places in order to make their opening and closing experience much more easier. So a simple representation of how the curtains work are as mentioned the working principle is that as one pulley moves upwards the curtains open and the other pulley which moves in relative motion to it it goes upwards then the curtains close the same way we are using a motor and a switch in order to automate the pulley mechanism so moving forward wooden blocks wooden blocks are used to hold the pulleys as seen in the previous video the pulleys are nothing but the circular discs which I will be explaining it to you in the next few uh, in the next few slides 
The wooden blocks are made of about 6 to 7 mm diameter as our pulleys are of 5 mm or of 50 mm in diameter. I'm sorry, it's 60 to 70 mm in diameter. So the wooden blocks are uh, used of hard compressed wood unlike the plywood or the boxwood or various other materials of wood such as teak, rubber, plant wood or various other woods as they are expensive and we had decided not to use any other any other kinds of wood which are not which are expensive and which have to be used by cutting down the trees so we have stuck with hard compressed wood which is commonly known as mdf in order to make our things easier and also work towards being environment friendly the other component are the ropes so we have stuck with nylon ropes. Nylon is a plant product. So even though it's commonly known as plastic ropes, but these aren't plastic, these are nylon. As nylon are biodegradable in nature, even though it takes few years more than the regular biodegradable life, nylon is a very good and a strong rope compared to the regular brown color ropes that we use in our everyday life such as the ropes which are used to build and stitch the rice sacks and cement sacks we are using nylon ropes which are used to dry our clothes and used for various other purposes so these are used for small-scale industries and other projects such as that we are using for our industry oriented mini project. The third component are nuts and bolts. As mentioned, we mechanical engineers cannot survive without nuts and bolts. But the main usage of nuts and bolts are we need these in order to hold the wooden block to the wall as curtains are generally placed on the wall or any other places and also the wooden blocks and also the pulleys and the wooden blocks along with some tolerance and along with some gap in order to make the pulleys work freely move freely then pulleys as i told i'll explain about pulleys pulleys look like circular discs the pulleys in our project was made using aluminium now aluminium these are of long rods long length rods which have been cut using cnc machines at a, at a workstation and we have made them into 50 mm diameter in order to properly fit the nylon rope and also make them quite easy to make the uh, curtains open and close so why did we use CNC cutting machine is CNC machine because the cutting was far more accurate than the regular hand methods that we use in order to cut pulleys or any other objects. The other important component is DC motor. A DC motor is also known as a direct control control motor direct current motor. So as you can see it on your slide, a DC motor is of any class that is a rotary electrical machine that converts direct current energy into mechanical energy. That sums it up. We need electrical energy that is being supplied through the electric lines or through a battery for our project to the DC motor which is then supplied to the pulleys in order to open and close the curtains. So as the curtains, as the DC motor is turned on or is turned or is placed at a different position, then the curtains are open. If not, the curtains are closed. In order to make this work, we use something such as a switch. And we, we shall discuss that in the next slide. So a DC motor is used to automate the mechanism of the pulley movement. And to be specific, the DC motor that we are using is of a 12 volt with a belt pulley of 150 watt. 
this is mainly used for indo small scale industries and for projects like ours so switch a switch is used to break the flow of current or to continue the flow of current we use switch in everyday life in order to turn on the fans or lights in our homes and other places so that's a very simple working principle of a switch when it comes to wires they carry the current from the main supply that is the power station into our homes and into the various electrical appliances and the electrical components that we use in our everyday life so the wires that we are using are of the basic necessity as this is just a project or this is just a very small scale industry job we are not using heavy wires or heavy gauged wires as this uh, as we are not carrying a 220 volt or any current of such sort for our project and then coming to aluminum clamps aluminum clamps or else the regular clips that we use to hang our clothes to dry we are using aluminum clamps because these can carry the weight of the curtains even though the entire project looks very light aluminum can hold a strength more than which what is imagined so we are using aluminum clamps in order to hold the curtains along with the lines of the pulleys and along with the lines of the rope and also aluminum clamps are cost effective compared to other materials we could have used plastic but being plastic as a non biodegradable material we have restricted ourselves from using any envi any uh, material that is not environmental friendly so that's it with the components list and their various explanations and why are we using them and i'm sure you would have got a better idea and understanding of why we are using only these and not others as i mentioned i'm stressing that i'm stressing on the very point that we are using only these components because these are the most cost effective and the best i would say the most aesthetic ones as they can help to build not just stage curtains or the household curtains but any other curtains at a very minimal cost and as well keep ourselves environmental friendly sir and thank you